T-curve surf rod range comes in at the top of their land-based rods. These are surf and rock casting rods ranging in length from nine feet right up to 15 feet and made to cover a whole array of different line classes and casting weights right up to 250 grams. There are seven spin rods, one overhead rod and two slide baiting rods in the range. Now, if you don't know what slide baiting is, it's a really interesting and innovative form of fishing. It's huge in South Africa. It's taking off in a big way in Western Australia. And I think you're gonna see a bit more of it on our Eastern seaboard as well. Now, these T-curve surf rods just exude quality. They're built on TC4 blanks, which are high modulus, powerful graphite blanks. They carry genuine Fuji alkanite guides throughout. And moving down here, we've got this beautiful split butt design with a slimline cross weave butt, and of course, genuine Fuji reel seats. If you're serious about your surf casting or your rock fishing, and you chase bigger fish in those rough water conditions, you will definitely want to check out these T-curve surf rods. These are clearly no-nonsense rods designed to cast really heavy baits or lures and to fish serious line strengths. But the nice thing is they're all either two or three piece, so they're also quite portable and with very strong ferrules, so you don't have to worry about that. But just because they're for heavy applications doesn't mean that they're heavy rods. Even the 15 footer weighs under 700 grams and the shorter rods are lighter than that all the way down to about 500 grams. So they'll balance really well with the latest generation of Shimano reels. Put a Saragossa on the spin ones or one of the smaller Speedmaster overheads on the overhead rods and you've got the outfit of your dreams. Oh,